So in the get bands action, if you recall, we created a collection of type iQueryable. And this gives us the option to query the collection itself rather than going to the context. But it also offers us so-called deferred execution. The query execution occurs sometime after the query is constructed. And we get this behavior when working with iQueryable. Basically, we first construct the query, but it is executed when it is iterated over, such as in loop or implementing to list or to array or to dictionary on it. Another way is to implement a singleton queries such as sum or average and so on. So deferred execution allows us to construct the query and add as many where clauses as we need to filter and search and have it all executed once everything is put together. And currently you can see that we are passing two strings there and we have to also make changes to our interface as well, where we have these two arguments passed into the method. But what if we wanted an additional search query or an additional parameter, we would have to keep adding them. So instead of doing that, we can group them together in a single class. So let's do that next. So I go to my helpers folder and I will add another class. And I'll call this bands resource parameters. So here we will be adding all the parameters that we want to pass into the query. And right now we only want two of them. We want the string for the main genre and we want the string for the search query. So these are the two properties that we need here so far, but we could keep adding to it later on if we wanted to. So now let's go to our repository and here instead of passing these two strings, we will pass in the resource parameters that we just added. So I'll delete these and we are passing in the bands resource parameters. So this is the class that we need to first import the namespace for and that's in the helpers folder. And I'll simply call it the same things, bands resource parameters. So first we need to make sure since we are passing in a class that it is not a null. So let's do an if statement and check if the bands resource parameters is null. And if that's the case, we'll throw an exception. So we'll throw a new argument null exception and the name of will be the bands resource parameters. Next, we still need to make sure that main genre and search query are not null or white space, but this time main genre is a property in the bands resource parameters. So we'll pass in the bands resource parameters dot main genre and we check if that property is null or white space. And we do the same for the search query. So we'll go to our bands resource parameters dot and we'll check if the search query property is null or white space. And if both of them are, then we will return all the bands. So next we create our collection and remember it's iQueryable so we can use the where clauses on it. And then just like we did before, we check each individual parameter. So we'll go to our main resource parameters and check if the main genre is null or white space. And if not, then we will create a variable. I'll call it main genre. And we will go to our band resource parameters and we will get the main genre and we will trim it. And after that, we'll query our collection just like we did before. And we'll do the same for our search query. So we'll go to our band resource parameters and we'll make sure that the search query is not null or white space. And if it is not, then we'll create a variable for search query. 
and we'll go to our band resource parameters and trim the property search query and then we will perform the querying on our collection for it. Of course this is supposed to be var instead of car. And at the end we will again return the collection and when we convert it to list that's when the iQueryable actually executes. So all this is just the preparation of the query and it executes right here when we convert it to list. So this is our repository. Now let's go to our interface because now we are not passing these two strings. We are passing in the bands resource parameters. And we have to bring in the namespace, which again is in the helpers folder. So this is now our get bands with the filtering and searching parameters. And now let's go to the controller and actually apply it to our get bands action. So here again, instead of the genre and search query, we are going to supply the bands resource parameters. And we are going to supply it from the query. And we are going to pass the bands resource parameters to our get bands method in our repository. So instead of main genre and search query, we're passing bands resource parameters. And the return statement stays the same. We'll simply return the collection that is mapped from the repo to the band DTO. All right, let's run this and we should be getting the same results. So let's test that. So first let's just pass in the genre and it's gonna be rock. Let's send this. And we get Guns N' Roses. That's the only band in a rock genre. Now let's do the search query. And let's say we want all the bands that have the letter A in their name. And we get the four bands like we did before. So we did not get Guns N' Roses because that's the one band that does not have A in the name. So now let's use both. So I'll use main genre. And let's say I want this to be rock. And I want the search query to be, for example, S. So that should return Guns N' Roses. And it did. Now what if I don't supply the search query, but I supply the genre. I still get Guns N' Roses because that goes by the genre that is rock. And what if I don't supply neither? I get all the bands. So this is the same behavior like we had before, but now we are grouping the filtering and searching into a class that is much more extendable and it's obviously better down the road as it can be reused easier. Now one thing to note though is that we are passing the bands resource parameters from query and if we did not specify this, since this is a class, it would by default try to pass it from the body and that would actually give us an error because we are not passing anything from the body this is a parameter coming from the query so in this case we needed to specify from query when we try to pass in a complex type from a query otherwise like I said it would assume that it's coming from the body all right so these are our get methods and next, we can start creating resources.